Opportunity has to be combined with reason and uh, good policies. Ideas do have consequences. Bad ideas have bad consequences. Good ideas have good consequences. This is where we're making great progress. This is where I feel good about what's happening. And uh, the campuses are alive, and it's not too much. It's only a younger generation, but in many ways, the younger generation has helped energize another generation. Those who have felt like there's not much, good, you know, hope for what what has happened. The true revolutions, if you look at it outside our country, and when you look at them on TV and other countries where they're trying to overthrow tyranny, so often it's on the campuses. These young people have gotten up and have been willing to stand on. I quite frankly believe that not much would come of my attempt to speak out and get a few things off my chest, but uh, I, I have, uh, I've always been surprised at the reaction and the response that have been so favorable. So that is what will happen once you get more involved and as you do, the expectations will uh, be successful far exceed the expectations. The main thing is, is to be positive about it. The other thing that I like to uh, suggest is that it's long, hard, and tedious, and sometimes it's weird to run out. There's a lot of volunteers that are involved in campaign, working hard at phone calling and knocking on doors and all these things. That, that but uh, it, it, is, uh, it, it, is, it is rewarding, and it has to be done. But people should have fun doing it. There's very important things, because you do meet other people that are like-minded. They might have different ideas about how to spend their money and how to run their personal lives, but all of a sudden they're your friend because you're fighting for the same thing, and that is the liberty of the individual. For me, the main uh, goal is to, uh, in part my personal life, is to strive for excellence and virtue, which is something yeah. governments can't do for us. But you can achieve this and bring out the creative energy of each and every one of us in a free society, in a slave society, in a totalitarian society, where there are not many new inventions coming out. And, uh, and it's just a survival mode. But in this country, we certainly had that spirit at one time. It's been lacking. But now that we face this bankruptcy, it should be seen as much as an opportunity as anything. Because this will not be sustained. We cannot continue to pretend that prosperity comes out of a printing press and that we can all become rich by more debt. That is total nonsense and that is the reason we have to talk about productive energy and freedom for the individual and an incentive system that is rewarded accordingly. responsibly for ourselves and for our family, which is very, very important, that uh, there's a sense of uh, reward for this. There's a sense of uh, a feeling of self-worth. That is something that cannot be achieved when somebody else is taking care of us. No matter what level we're at and what level of ability and level of income that we have, I believe the sense of satisfaction is the same way. That people who work hard, use their talents, just take care of themselves, they can have every bit as much satisfaction as the individual who makes millions of dollars. And sometimes when people make millions of dollars, and they haven't done it with honest work, they don't have the sense of satisfaction that somebody else will if they have the satisfaction that I worked hard, I take care of myself, I take care of my family, and that's what a free society is all about. Thank you very much for being out here tonight. I want to close by just saying that this to me is so important for all of us. And there's every reason to believe that we are, uh, you know, on the verge of something occurring very, very big in a very positive way, even though it is still a very, very dangerous uh, event that is transpiring economically and politically. But there's every reason to believe that if we continue to do this, that we will do well and that there's a, a spirit alive in this country, and there's reason to be very hopeful 
uh, but it will not have happened automatically. If we do nothing, believe me, the other side will uh, run rough shot over us. Matter of fact, there's tremendous resistance toward these ideas as well. There's a lot of special interests out there. Those who benefit from the Federal Reserve and those who benefit from the military industrial complex, right. those who have benefit from the, our foreign adventurism, they will not go away easily. They, they are addicted to power. And the one thing that we want to do is dissipate power. We want to empower the individual and the people that want to take care of themselves and have those rewards and not depend on the power of government. Freedom was well tried, and like I said, it was it's a, a relatively new idea, and what we don't want to do is we don't want to go backwards. They sometimes always say that we want to go back to the Dark Ages, and of course that they, that's what they want to do. But also they uh, want to talk about, they want to uh, downplay the idea of minding our own business and only fighting constitutional war, that we're a bunch of isolationists. Freedom does not invite isolationism. It is we who believe in freedom and not putting on sanctions on people and fighting with people. It is we that would say it's time that we talk to the Cubans and trade with Cuba and not have to So this, this is a, a wonderful, wonderful philosophy. It's available to us, and we still have enough freedom to prevail. And this is what this campaign is all about. What will kind of transpire from the campaign? Exactly what will happen on the California primary? I know we're going to do better than some expect. I hope you all go out and vote and, and participate. I, those results will be on the short run, but let me tell you, I believe on the long run, we are going to win this fight, and the liberal will be loud and well, and the goal, of course, will be to restore peace and prosperity to this land. Thank you very much.
Uh, too 